Growing up in Argentina, my life was very much marked by the number of military dictatorships that I had to endure. In Australia, it was official government policy to remove Aboriginal children from their parents for a whole range of reasons. We were compelled by Idi Amin to go watch a firing squad so people could be afraid. What is it that makes theatre extraordinary? What is it that makes it extraordinary enough for people to stop and think and change? I was a co-founder of the Free Southern Theatre in 1963. Our vision was that we would encourage political organizers to look to the arts to support oppressed people. What we can do as artists, we can let our imagination soar and say, I can envision the time when we will be able to plant the rice and eat it too. You know, I can see that. In our city and in the city center, we had many paramilitary pro-war nationalists wearing guns and weapons. We could have expected anything to happen, but the miracle was that nothing violent happened. Suddenly, our discipline was stronger than our circumstances. We would see uh, very aggressive people in the audience and then their friends would be making them silent, like, hush, like, oh, I want to hear. The whole theater process uh, also uh, resulted in a very intense, deep or high level conversation. Talking about their lives and interacting and showing themselves in, in, at a level of vulnerability that you never see these men who in the media are always amorphous, superficial, stigmatized or stereotyped uh, uh, figures. And I think that's the power of this, of this kind of theater. Ik was advocaat, maar in Nederland ben ik niks. Every single time, in silence, the audience would stand up. And just that, that very simple gesture, it was an amazing act of resistance. And it was saying, no matter what is going on, this is not affecting the deepest fabric of community. And we're going to overcome. I cannot hope for a democratic society without giving tools. What we're trying to, to offer through the, the Forum Theatre is an interactive learning. What is my role if this is not what I want in my community? What can I do? If a play sets out to say, this is what it means to be living in war, such a play for me is examining the human condition. I think peace building or peacemaking is about the human condition and there you find a connection. Is the use or the utilization of theater for a very, very clear social or political purpose even legitimate? That's a dilemma. I thought I need to learn more about how to assess where I am, how to understand what my work is, and how to behave appropriately, not just as an artist but as a citizen. There are not too many places where we can come together to learn how to do this work. Theater requires engagement with the fundamental questions of our lives. These questions are crucial, essential. We're endangered by not answering them. All of these theater artists refuse to be in denial. 